Good afternoon and welcome to a daily dose of good news on Friday, July the 23rd. It's good to be with you. Uh, the good news today comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Here ends the reading. It was 33 years ago, as a first-year seminarian, that this passage served as the text for the first sermon I ever preached at my home congregation at Epiphany Lutheran Church in Pickerington, Ohio. And the good news of this passage echoes clearly from that occasion to this one. Rich with the images of baptism, this passage served then as a wonderful lens for me to affirm the blessing that congregation had been to me where so many people lived out their callings, both at the church, choir members, teachers, youth group leaders, hospitality and property ministers, and in their daily lives, reflecting the love of Christ by the way they served in schools and businesses and farms and the government and hospitals and doctor's offices. My own faith was formed within that community of believers where so very often, whatever they did in word and deed, they did everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And now, back then, <laughs> I was embarking on God's call in my life to serve as a pastor to help cultivate other such communities of believers. And that is exactly what we you and I at Holy Trinity share today. And Holy Trinity, at Holy Trinity, where together, whatever we do in word or deed, we strive to do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The way we worship, the way we learn, the way we care for others and care for each other in Jesus' name. With a particular resilience, I would say, over the last 17 months, the way you have reflected the love of Christ for each other throughout the congregation, but also as well in your daily lives as you serve in schools and businesses, hospitals, government, community, and all. Clothed with compassion and kindness, humility and meekness, patience, and above all, with love. Jesus' promise of life and salvation is kept as you pursue your calling in life so faithfully, finding yourselves blessed in the process of blessing others. Yes, it turns out today is another good day to put on your baptism. Amen. Take care. Trust everyone as well. If there's anything we can be doing for you, please do let us know. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.